Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we were heading our way into the Divide, and I noticed a little thing, a destroyed iBot, which had an upgrade circuit board for, well, Eddie. There we go, and that's a module that can upgrade Eddie. Installing this module grants the first rank of the Camarader E perk. <laughs> I love their puns. Allowing Eddie to repair your currently equipped weapon once per day. This perk is accessed through Eddie's dialogue. If you find more upgrade modules, you can unlock further ranks of this perk. When you return to the Mojave, these upgrades will carry over to the original Eddie as well. Because I couldn't just give you one companion to upgrade that looks exactly the same as your one in the Mojave and not let him, you know, not keep those upgrades. Because that would be good to have all of that. Alright, anyway, we have fission battery. We have a whole bunch of good stuff there. And we got, yep, one of Ed Jucated. I love those ones. Not entirely sure I'm allowed through here, but, oh, jeez. Eddie. I can get in there if I get into the hydraulics access level 3 terminal, which I should be able to get into. Pro the keyword is maybe. Uh, process, pistols. Uh, I'm getting the P, I think, at least. That's a weird way to say that. And maybe the S. No, if that was the S, uh, that would have worked in pistols. Uh, maybe the R. Let's try. P no, if that was the case, then the O would have worked. Pressed. Maybe that. Nope. The R was not working either. Yay. I love that. Okay. Dud removed. Great. Wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for more tries game. There we go. Hey, there we go. Thank you. Okay. So process was closer than pressed or pistols. So the P is there. We know the P is there. Again, that really sounds weird out of context. Uh, <laughs> but maybe psychic or perfect. I'm trying. Hey, psychic was first. <laughs> I should have tried that one. All right, unlock the door and status. Yep, I don't know what I expected. This is gonna be an episode series. For this one and the next one, where I'm just doing things where I don't know what I expected, but I should have expected it. Uh, don't need a pack of cigarettes. We'll use all that duct tape, though. And the Wonder Glue. And what do we got in the toolbox? The H&H &H Tools Nail Gun. I'm pretty sure H&H &H is for house and house, I think. I could be wrong. But... I'm pretty sure the H&H &H brand is associated with House, mainly his extended family. So, I could grab those. Um, it has the benefit of being silent, has bonus critical damage, well, bonus critical chance, rather, and bonus limb damage. That said, the damage it does per shot is dismal. So you'd need a whole bunch of nails to actually do any sort of damage. Uh, then again, nails also pierce through pretty much everything. That's why the target DT is has a negative 5 there. So, I mean... While the nails are doing, you know, piercing damage, the nails themselves don't do that much. You're relying on having a bunch of them spewed into your target at any time. Which I don't necessarily care for all that much. So, I'll probably leave that behind. Especially because there's going to be a bunch of those that pop up later. And if I ever change my mind, I can just do that. But I can carry the nails. I can do that. Anyway, uh, what was that? Ashtray? Yeah, I, that has no use outside of Fallout 4. 
<laughs> that's about it. And that's mainly for the ceramic. Alright, we got some nails there too. Got some good stuff there. Actually, I think I can make some uh, repair kits at this point. Uh, Eddie. Thank you. Uh, that's an impressive multi-tool suite you've got. I, get, I bet I could make all sorts of stuff with that. Yep. There we go. Now I can do the ammo. And hey, is that an arm core... Uh, an arm core. Armco portable reloading bench built into you. That'll be handy. There we go. And that's all stuff I knew already. I want to make something. Um, when did I pick up a sensor module? Hmm. No matter. I'm going to be saving those for super stim packs. Um, I guess I can convert these into microfusion cells. Although I have to go through this whole song and dance every time I use the uh, little thing here. Uh, Sierra Madre slugs. Don't necessarily want to be grabbing those. Uh, satchel charge. Yeah, again, sensor modules being saved for other things. Uh, weapon repair kit. I can make three of those. I have enough wrenches for it. Yay! Okay. Uh, and I already picked up an auto <laughs> inject stim pack. Yay! That's great. Oh, I missed that. How'd I miss that? I don't know, but I feel stupid for missing it, because now I have to go through all of this again just to make another one. Uh, I'm dumb. <laughs> I am the dumbest. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Now we can go through here. Scared beeping. What do you mean scared beeping? What, are the other ones going to yell at you and try to shoot you? Don't answer that. I think the answer is yes. Ooh. I can get into this desk, no problem. Maybe no problem. There we go. Perfect. Add some decent pistol rounds. Add a decent pistol as well. That's actually rather valuable for its weight. I might as well pick that up. Uh, second level security code. That'd actually be usable. I'll grab that. I can't get up there. I thought that was a path upwards. I guess not. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to bother going there if I can avoid it. At least right now. Uh, I've got... Empty noodle. Empty noodle. Empty nuka cola That's what I meant to say. What the fuck am I talking about? Empty noodle. Duh. Okay. I'm getting to this box. There we go. I could just force the lock and it'd be easier than this. God damn it. Thick gold do. There we go. There's some good stuff here. I got conductors, got jet, got some primers, scrap metal, purified water. The cherry bombs are useful. Uh, conductors are not, if I remember right. They're not really as useful as the weight suggests. If I remember right, I might not. You guys can yell at me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. All right, it's an amro. If I can open this bitch. Come on! Dicky shabba do there we go. Electron charge packs, that's good. Oh, that one is a not drunk one yet. A not drunk one. A not Yeah, the drunk was the right word there. I don't know why I was arguing with myself. There's some stuff here. Definitely do not want to be down here if this no, starts launching, but I have a good feeling that's not going to happen. Very good feeling on that. Alright. See if there's anything else I can grab while I'm down here. There is no... Maybe. This one, maybe. I could easily force this lock. Not a problem. Alright. There we go. Some cherry bombs. Some lead pipes. Uh, they're good for quick repairs of the uh, katana, but... They weigh a little too much for my uh, fancy super stim packs and another sensor module. Hey, hey. I'm not going to turn my nose up at that. That's for damn sure. I cannot use that to get up. This one, I can. All right. Get around this. Head up. I'm just hoping those eddies don't open fire on me. That would be not pleasant to have to shoot those. Got some nails. Got some steady wonder glue in 
wrench. Perfect. Alrighty, this is gonna be... Oh. Something in here I'll have to shoot at. But... Or is it upstairs? It sounds like it might be upstairs. Huh. Well, security control level 2. I have the password for this. Which helps. Deactivate the robot security. And... Inactive. Good. Well, that worked. Perfect. All right. Oh, it was one of these. Oh, jeez. That would have been a fight. Yeesh. Good thing I did that. All right. We got some duct tape here. I got some scrap metal here. We got a wrench and... Man, they're just making sure I'm stockpiled with weapon repair kits. Because they don't want me to run away if they can avoid me doing so. Problem is, I will probably run into a situation where I do need that first level, which would be the top level, I think. Or at least it should be. The entrance can't be just there. I think. I might be wrong. Alright, Plasma Defender, I can easily sell that. Alright. And if I... If it, uh, if the, if I'm wrong, that's what I meant to try to say. But my brain decided to fucking take a shit on me. Uh, metaphorically and literally. Uh, <laughs> is that... Is that for the rocket launcher? Slides... Hmm don't know enough to really judge what this is. It's showing the reload procedure and the collapse process. That might be the rocket launcher. It might be. Oh. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Almost missed this. Hey, hey, hey. Nuka-Colas, Nuka-Cola Quartz, all the good shit. There we go. Perfect. Now up we go towards the next thing. Oh. Oh. That can't be good. That cannot be good. Oops. I forgot that my light was already on. Um... We'll, uh, just go look at... What? Uh, distressed Dr. people. Grant? What the hell do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, Whitley. There you are. Orders from Colonel Autumn. He feels the iBot DuraFrame project isn't advancing quickly enough. I'm too... You didn't even disengage his damage avoidance protocols. You're hurting him! Don't be ridiculous. It's just a machine. See here... I've already increased the navigation system's efficiency by 65%. Get the hell out of here! Fine, Whitley. It's your lab. <laughs> At least until I tell the Colonel about this. Sounds like a war crime waiting to happen. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to tell me. I would have beat the crap out of her. Uh, sounds like Whitley really cared about you. Yeah. Ralphie who? You're still not making sense. Wait a minute. Who the hell is General Winters? The recording mentioned a Colonel Autumn. Evasive beeping. Yeah, there's there's definitely a problem in the data stream there. Uh, here's what might be happening. Or at least I assume. Uh... Since names are somewhat similar to the, uh, well, to the plot line for Ralphie as what he dealt with, Colonel Autumn, General Winter, uh, and apparently he had either had the movie's, you no know, content, either maybe transcript or the entirety of the movie, downloaded into a system, there's a problem in his, uh, somewhere there's some, a problem somewhere for sure that's making it 
kind of cross over and overlap, at least in his mind. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just conjecturing here. I have not been playing this game, at least this particular DLC, for a while. So, this is pretty much uncharted territory from here. I've done it once, and I promptly forgot it because it was like three years ago. So, yeah. All right. Uh, that's a terrible story, but we should get moving. Yeah, there we go. And it seems to be, uh, if I remember right, Colonel Autumn. Huh? 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 Oh! Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Didn't think there would be a fight. Oh, jeez. This is really not going well. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Did not expect that to happen. <laughs> uh, and that one had a rocket on it. And that's radiation. Yep, I was right. That is a nuke. That is a nuke right there. Also, marked men are a thing. Um, specifically for the divide. Um, I'm gonna see if I can explain this as well as possible so that way you guys are caught up on what's going on. Marked men are really the men who are caught up in the divide, mainly NCR and Kaisar's Legion that were in the middle of the divide uh, separate from the city where most of the events took place that caused this mess uh, doing a little you know, reconnaissance and fighting it out somewhat. And then the nukes went off. There was a stockpile of nukes underneath the city where most of the events took place and blew the fucking place sky hot. Destroyed most of everything around, caused a lot of the storms that you were seeing prior, and ghoulified these men almost immediately. Whoops. I went to grab the controller because I had my hand up talking like I usually do. And, uh, oops. There we go. The Bowie knife. The Bowie knife is an awesome, awesome thing. And that's going to be something I'll have to show you guys soon. But, uh, the marked, scar uh, marked scout armor. Yeah, these were scouts and, uh, reconnaissance men for, well, both the Legion and the NCR that were uh, caught up in the blast. And uh, since then, they've more or less shed the uh, NCR and, yeah, Red Glare rocket launcher. I was right. Uh, they've somewhat shed their allegiances with the NCR and with the Legion and become one mass conglomerate known as the Marked Men because they are marked by the nukes that went off in this area. So, there you go. There's your plot dump. <laughs> Alright, the Marked Turret. I should probably avoid that if at all possible. Or avoid damage from that. And, yeah, the Bowie Knife is a... Uh, weapon that they use almost exclusively because well I mean look at that that's a big ass knife that's better than the combat knives I think the damage on the Bowie knife is better than the combat knives as well if I remember right but uh yep there's another arc welder there I can easily sell that uh, just move your arm a little bit there thank you I'm trying to grab that perfect and yeah there's another Bowie knife there dirty water. I'm just gonna take the armor because next time I run into a commissary I can easily sell that off. Is that a computer that's working? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, this might be a... Uh, yeah, I have to let Eddie do this one. I have to move back here. 
Find the security codes for the missile silo network. Huh. I'll definitely have to look into that at some point. Uh, what is that? Fixing things. Okay. Uh, and then upload to Eddie. Okay, so Eddie needs to know them first. Okay, well, I thought he could override that sort of thing. I guess not. I'm wrong. Huh. Anyway, there we go. Grab all that. There's another one over here. That seems they also exclusively use the arc welders, which I don't recall them doing. So that's news to me. Great, I'm over encumbered. Woo. Requires a key. Shit. Why is there two of them there? Huh. Still, that looks like a thing I don't want to go into if I can avoid it. Ah, jeez. Alright. Is there a way I can use Eddie to carry some of this? Maybe. Or I could just repair two of the arc welders just to get rid of the weight of one. There we go. And make them more valuable in the process. And... Yeah, I might as well hold on to this for the time being. Time being... Ah, my nose <laughs> is starting to act up again. No! Okay, let's repair this with the other. There we go. Actually, these are more valuable on their own. I shouldn't be doing that. I should be repairing them with the cheaper shits. Uh, I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, well, at least I realize I'm dumb. Uh, is there... I'm not sure. Uh, repair this with sexy sleepwear, because why not? Okay. Pair this with, again, one of these, and pair these with, uh, again, that, because I guess those are the cheapest ones I can repair them with. Oh, jeez. Okay. have a rebreather or two, but that only does water breathing. This just helps with radiation resistance, actually, so, um, I should just wear that for now. Um, shit. <laughs> There's not much else I can do to help with my weight carrying. Ah, uh, jeez. I should really get rid of this at some point. I should definitely get rid of that. For the time being, though, I should probably drink uh, booze in some shape or form. We got a whiskey. There we go. Really? That doesn't help? At all? Shit. I thought it would. Uh, damn it. Alright, well. Plasma Defender, no. That only weighs one pound. Why do I want to bother wasting time on that? Um, I can repair that with that. There we go. That'll work. Hey! Onward we go. Possibly. Oh, I can go into security here. Okay. That's good. Good to know. Can we not have this guy jump out at me? Possibly. Or these? That'd be great if we could avoid having these guys jump out. Excited beeping. Excited beeping about what? Okay. Guess there's no real anything else here. General Martin Retzlaff. And there's the pistol that uh, he possibly used to kill himself? Seems like it. Oh, that's unfortunate. And then a U.S. Army general outfit, which seems like it has some use to it. But uh, not a lot. At least not enough for me to justify wearing it. But I can always take it. <laughs> There's always a way to do that. I should definitely head back to that commissary. There's some things I need to drop off now. Okay. Deactivate personal sentry systems. And open the doors. There we go. And they're deactivated. I knew it. 
I knew it. The desk. Grab all of that. Vodka! Hey, this is a man after my own heart. And there's the security code. Perfect. Uh, I can grab their stuff, too, now that I deactivated them. I think. Not entirely sure on that. No, I can't. Well, that sucks. I'll take the stuff behind them, though. <laughs> Definitely will do that. Alright, I think I'm going to end the episode here for right now, because I am way more over time than I thought I would be. And I'm just going to head back to the commissary. <laughs> and uh, get back here after that. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and getting overburdened while exploring this run-down silo for you. <laughs>